Greetings, Raji Narayan Singh here, trans activist, author, and actress. So the reality is, I am dying. <laughs> well, let me stop being so <laughs> dramatic. I mean, I am dying. I just don't know exactly when that day will be. Uh, and really, in actuality, when you think about the scope of things, we all are born, and from the day we're born, we are are dying. We're, we're living these life's journeys to get to the day when we die and we leave this physical pl plane, this physicality. Uh, wow. I think I've always had consciousness of my mortality but you know when many of us are young and I think many of you will agree it's kind of like you have that invincible type attitude like you know me against the world and you just it's you don't think so much about death uh, as you grow older and you live life and you get wiser and unfortunately, you start to lose loved ones. The reality of one's mortality really begins to be profound. I often sit and think about how it will be when I die. And I think people are more afraid of like how you're gonna die, like how it's gonna happen than the actual aftermath. But even so, I, I, I think about how it will be after, like, and where will I go? Where will this energy of me, Raji Narayan Singh, where will I go? Now, science says that energy never dies, and I know that we are all living energy. You can even... Put your hand up against someone else's hand about oh, maybe a, an inch away. And if you're still, you can actually feel the energy field, the energy force off of one another. It's amazing. I've tried it. So, okay, energy never dies. But the question is, well, where do we go? Oh, my gosh. And there's so many different belief systems and philosophies and um, me personally I, I don't I don't believe that this is it like just thinking about our existence I can't even come to the concept of this is it I actually uh, met uh, a guy recently who shared with me that he's an atheist. And, you know, I try not to judge people because I do believe that we all are on our individual journeys and everyone's going at their own pace and evolving in their own way. And uh, so I try not to, to be judgmental, but honestly, I have to admit it was a bit of a turnoff for me because to, to live your life thinking that, okay, this is it. Like, when you die, that's it. There's nothing else. I don't know. I don't know for me how that would really impact the life that I'm living. I guess, on one hand, if you're living your life thinking that this is all there is, you might even live it more fulfillingly like you, you you just live every day to the fullest because in your mind you're thinking this is it but when i look at our existence i mean take the planet earth for instance we're here on this planet and the earth is spinning right now while i'm doing this video and you know there's a sun and a moon and, and all these lives that are living here on the planet and, and um then you look at eternity, like, you know, the different uh, galaxies and solar systems. The science is showing that 
there are infinite amounts of galaxies out there. And to think that this planet Earth would be the only form of existence, I just, I don't know. I, I think it's a little arrogant to, to think that. So, hmm. I'm not a very religious person. I'm very spiritual. I believe that there is an energy, a life force, divine energy that I call God, that lives in everything and is the glue to our existence. As far as doctrine, I don't get too much into the doctrines, the, the different doctrines, but I, I, I do believe that there is a God. And I do believe that prayer is powerful. Our minds and how we focus on things can be so extremely powerful. And so when you look at our bodies and the, our minds, we have these brains and, and these minds uh, that enable us to think and come up with ideas and create. And You have to say to yourself, my God, there there's a divinity behind all of this. There must be some divine energy behind all of this. It's just so amazing. We're walking miracles. Like, I get up in the morning, and you know, I, I, when I was younger, maybe I took it for granted. I guess my life journey, I've been through so much, and, and I am a survivor. When I wake up, there's times where I just think, wow, like, I am a living, breathing, thinking individual. I am a miracle. Like, it's just, and, and you know, it's funny. I'll, I'll be driving in my car on the highway, and I'll look to my left, I'll look to my right, and I'll think, wow, look at all these people. And we're all living our lives. Like, you know, 8 billion of us on this planet. And everyone's on their own journey and going in all the different directions. And it's just, it, it's almost mind-blowing. Like, I have to sometimes stop myself because I can really, really go so deep and so far out there that it's almost like, okay, got to pull Pull it back in a little because, you know, it's it's almost like it takes you out of the realm of actually living. So, uh, so yeah, I have to watch that sometime. But I, yeah, I do believe that there's something after this. But I also believe that we're not supposed to know exactly what it is. And know for sure. I actually believe that the questioning, the not knowing for sure, actually is divinely in sync with our existence. Because it keeps us with the will to live. The not knowing for sure keeps us and gives us the will to live. At least most of us. You know, there are people that, that do give up. But I'm saying in general, you know, the minute life got hard, the minute life gets hard, we all have our problems and our challenges. If you knew that, oh my God, what was on the other side of this was spectacular, you'd say, F this, to hell with this, I'm going to, I'm checking out, I'm going to the other side. But the not knowing for sure keeps us with the will to live. And I believe that that's divinely in place for a reason. Like that is a, the divine synchronicity of our existence. One of the many uh, things about our existence that keeps like things gelled, you know, our existence going and, and, and life going and, and just keeps the, the movement the movement going. I I think that 
the more and more my mortality becomes profound for me, the more and more it makes me want to live this life that I have to the absolute fullest. I mean, just like to the absolute fullest, to truly, truly live every day to the utmost and not take any moment for granted because we really truly are just passing through and you don't know when that day is going to be that's the other thing it's like you know when i when i hear people pass away i think wow that person woke up probably not even thinking that today was their last day you know that that was going to be their last day and um I actually wrote a poem about our existence. It's called um, The Spiritual Motion. And it goes like this. There is a rhythm of time and space. It has a flow of divine pace. Yesterday has gone and tomorrow has not come. The sound that we move to is the eternal drum. Swaying to the beat of a billion years a second in time to the eternal sphere, like drops of water in a galactic ocean. The dance that we do is called the spiritual motion. <sighs> yeah, and I wrote that poem thinking about our existence. Uh, and... Wow. Well, I don't know more. <laughs> I don't know what more I want to say about it. It's like my mind as I'm doing this video, it's like racing, you know, it's just really racing. But I think the important thing is that no matter who you are, where you're from, what you have, to know that you are a walking miracle. To know that you are here for a divine purpose. And to know that one day will be your, your last day here. The day will come. So knowing that, knowing those things, just live your life to the fullest. And touch the world and shine in your own unique way. Love, peace, and blessings.